This morning, Epic just rolled out Fortnite version 21.20 and there's a ton to talk about. Donald Mustard was back at it again on Twitter over the holiday weekend with potentially some more cryptic teasers. New cosmetics bring a blast from the past with unique chapter one references. And finally, at long last, an unlikely reunion takes place on the island. This is your latest Fortnite storyline overview on an update day. Let's get it. Over the 4th of July weekend, Donald Mustard took to Twitter as he typically does and he said two things. The first one was interesting. It says, we can imagine things that become real. What is your best imagined order? Okay, well, I see what you did there, Mr. Mustard. I totally see what you did. Imagined order, obviously two very important words for many different reasons in Fortnite. Of course, you've got the group, the imagined order, and then you've simply got the imagined and the order, that being the sisters, the two members of the seven. In case you needed any clarity as to what he was actually talking about, he then follows that up with all caps, spoiler alert, reality tree. The way this tweet is structured really intrigues me. It really interests me. I mean, I feel like that's something he would have tweeted last season when we were getting ready to defeat the IO. But one thing I will say about Mr. Mustard's tweets are I didn't even realize this until like just a couple days ago when I truly went back and looked and there's like all these posts that break down exactly how Mustard teased this thing at this time and like almost every one of his tweets means something. On the 4th of July, people were going crazy over this Instagram post from Mustard, but because it was on Instagram, I think maybe that was simply celebrating the fourth. Speaking of the reality tree, the reality tree is back at it again, spreading its roots across the map, of course, trying to take over as much area and territory as it can. This time, the roots have appeared at none other than the Daily Bugle, and it is probably going to end up just like the other POIs, where they start changing and getting manipulated by this tree. What's the long-term goal here for the reality tree and whatever's controlling it, which we assume is the Bloom Watcher? Well, whatever it is it's not good we've known for a couple weeks now that things are not nearly as nice and as peaceful on the island as they may seem at first the scientist actually had voice logs that were released today along with this update that pretty much mimic that exact testament and say that we are in extreme trouble the scientist considers us the loopers to be close to friends in his words and he says that we should be worried in a very terrified tone. With each passing week, the reality tree continues to spread across the map and the scientist and the seven really for that matter, continue to grow more skeptical, more paranoid and more worried. I don't know what's getting ready to happen, but whatever happens, I'm getting the sense that it could be just as big, if not bigger and more important than the event that we had last season. We haven't had back-to-back -back events since season seven of chapter two and season eight of chapter two, but I gotta say Epic's done a much better job lately about having events be pretty often. We went a while there where we just didn't get very many at all. So I'm grateful that they're at least coming back on a pretty regular basis. I hope we get one this season. Who knows if this buildup is actually gonna lead to an end of season event, or if it's just gonna kind of build up this season, head into the next season for that event. Let me know what you guys think. It's interesting to think about what they might do and how they might plan these events out. If you are a chapter one OG to the channel and you were watching me around that time, you'll know how obsessed I was with what we called Truck Boy. It was a meme all over my streams and my comments, Twitter, you name it. And I am proud to tell you that Truck Boy is being rebuilt. And in fact, he has gotten his legs. So we should see Truck Boy or Truckosaurus, as some people are calling him, uh, return very soon in the future. I know there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with chapter one references like that. The Rock family's chilling over there on the other side of the map too. They've been chilling for a while, actually. Speaking of chapter one, in this latest update, we have been able to see that there are a number of files that have been added that should be coming out soon. And basically, they're just chapter one references. I mean, it's an entire chapter one throwback set, basically, as well as the individual skins. Now, granted, they are a little bit different, but a lot of them are based off of chapter one fan favorite skins. And each one of these has a POI that they are attached to. With all the different chapter one references spewing around everywhere you look, is this something else to add to that list? Does it mean something? I mean, who knows? And maybe I dig a little too deep into this stuff sometimes, but it's my job, that's what I do. And usually, more times than not, Epic means to do exactly what they do. That is, of course, except for the massive glitches we were experiencing last week. 
Also in the files, we have this Star Wars relic that apparently the Zero Point teleported to our reality from the Star Wars reality, and this apparently is the reason Darth Vader is even on our island. Who knows how much this will play into the Fortnite lore. I gotta say, in my opinion, having these collaboration characters, especially one as high profile as Darth Vader, actually play a role in the story for the Fortnite lore, even to a minor degree, that's really intriguing to me. All of a sudden that takes my disinterest in having collabs and flips it on its back and basically makes it so I'm really excited. If they do more stuff like that, I'll have no problem with any of their collabs. Check this out. You remember the henchmen at the very start of the season who were trapped over there in that cavern? Well, now they have escaped as well as the trespasser and they have gone to meet the lonely IO guard who has also been roaming the map since the very beginning of this season. So it's really interesting to see the way this is playing out. They're doing all sorts of activities together. They've got a car, they've pimped it out. It's really an unlikely reunion if you think about it. You've got a ghost henchman, a shadow henchman, a trespasser, and an IO agent. I mean, talk about a complicated family dinner. Please be sure to let me know your thoughts, what you think about everything going on in the game. I'd really appreciate it. And hey, if you're new, of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join the family, and drop a like. And if you're buying anything in the shop, you can always slap on code DRP to support me and the channel.